Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, I will talk about some ifs and count ifs. The why, how, do the don'ts and what next. The primary difference between some ifs and count ifs is some range. Some ifs gives you the total of multiple numbers and count ifs gives you the count. Otherwise, they have the same criteria and criteria range options. Let's first see why some ifs. Suppose you have a data set like this. You have name of people, gender, age and the stipend. Somebody asks you, give me the total stipend of all the males. In this case, you look into the column of gender and then look into the stipend and then give me a total of 28,000. Some ifs aggregates multiple values based on your criteria. If you had applied count ifs here, you would have got the answer digit two. That means there are two male members. Next, if I ask you male member with age more than 21, you would have also looked into the column of age and then given me the answer 20,000, not 28,000. Another example, suppose I ask you, give me the total stipend of all those people whose age is more than equal to 21. In that case, you would have looked into the age column and given me the total of four numbers. And in this case, it's 50,000. So these were some examples to help you understand when do we use some ifs. Now, let's go into detail. When you write some if function with bracket open, and then if you click on function key or press control A, you will get this some if dialog box. Always see criteria and criteria range as pair. This is pair one, that would be pair two. Next, while writing the function, we'll be focusing first on criteria. Then we'll focus on criteria range, followed by some range. Next, so when you complete writing the formula, your formula would look something like this, where you have two criteria. The status will be displayed on the right hand side, indicating what are the sample data set that you have chosen. For example, this data range talks about salary. This data range talks about all the division headings such as HFD, CDFD. This data range talks about all the age range. And in between those, I have two criteria. Notice that these two pairs should be in sync with each other and so should be the next one. Next, you would notice one common thing between all the three ranges. That is, their heights are same. If one is starting from three, it's ending at 15. And that is being consistently followed across all the ranges. If you don't follow that, your answer will be wrong. Next, you will notice all the ranges are fixed or locked using dollars. Now this would be very crucial when you try to copy paste the formula to get multiple results. Next, if you have any mathematical operator based criteria, such as more than equal to or less than equal to, Remember, the syntax goes like this. First, you will start with double quotes, then put the operator, then close the double quote, then put an ampersand to join those operators with the value inside a given cell. This is where people make most of the mistakes. So whether you're using the logic of more than equal to a certain date or less than equal to a certain age, you would be using this technique. Now, let's see this function in action. So I have a data set where I have few employees, their date of joining, the salary, the division and the age. So if I wish to compute total salary for the division CDFT, then let me start writing the function equal to sum ifs. I would prefer to use sum ifs over sum if because sum ifs has the capacity to accommodate more than one criteria. So once I've written some ifs and the bracket is open, I'll either click on this FX button or I will press control A. So I now get this function argument box. Now do not be worried if you just see the two boxes, but definitely do check that you've written the some ifs function. Let me place the cursor inside the tab and then keep on pressing the tab key to open up more boxes. You can even use the scroll bar. If you wish to step back up the box, then step back by using shift tab, tab, 
and shift tab. Now, as per our theory, let's look at the question. I wish to get the total salary of all those people in the division CDFD. So criteria one becomes the cell containing CDFD. Then I go to criteria range one and I look for the range in which CDFD is present. As a good practice, I'll press F4. Next, I go to sum range and I choose the column containing sum of the salary. Now I'll press F4 and I notice I do not get the answer at the bottom right. That's because the height of the ranges are not same. So let me make the starting point of the sum range as three and suddenly you see the answer coming up. There you go. Now this time, let's take a sum ifs example with more than one criteria. In this case, the first being CDFD, which is coming from the column division. Next is the age that is more than equal to 32 and that is being referred from the column containing age. Of course, the total will be arriving from the column salary. So let me write the function equal to sum ifs, press the tab key and then either you click on this function bar fx or you may press the shortcut key control a. Now I will keep pressing tab to open up more options from this function argument panel. Next, my strategy will be to focus on criteria one and criteria two. Then I'll finish off criteria range one and range two and finally closing with some range. So let me begin here. First criteria one, I choose the cell containing CDFD. Then I make sure that I press tab key to jump over to next two boxes and arriving at criteria two. Next, within criteria two, I'll be using the syntax of more than equal to along with the cell containing 32. But remember from our previous discussion, we start with double quote, more than equal to, then closing the double quote, followed by an ampersand sign, and then the cell containing 32 is being chosen. You can see from the right hand side panel that Excel has understood your logic. Now, after having chosen these two criteria, we will be focusing on criteria range. So I go to criteria range one. Now, since the criteria one is CDFD, the range one must belong to a selection which contains all the CDFDs. So as you can see clearly, CDFD appears multiple times in the given column. So I go to criteria range one and I choose the desired column. Once I've chosen it, I'll press F4. Next, let me come to the right box, which is criteria range two. Here also, let me look at the criteria. It's about age and age can be found in the column containing age. So this time again, I go to criteria range two and choose the column starting from the header till the last and I press F4. A key thing to note here is that the heights of the two ranges that I've chosen are equal. And the second important thing is I have used F4 function key to freeze the entire range. Once these two pairs are finished, I will go to some range. With the same height, I will be choosing salary data and I will press F4 key. So before you press enter, do take a look at the bottom right corner of the function argument box. You get to see your answer. I'm going to press OK and I will be experimenting with the input to see if the answer is changing. For example, I change the division to RAD. Yes, the answer is changing. How about I write a division which does not even exist? Let's say triple A. You get the answer zero. Let me press control Z and if any point in time you feel like adding more criteria or revisiting your old criteria, you may keep the cell chosen and click on FX. There you go. It's as easy as that. Let me rewrite CDFD. Now I'll just quickly show the count ifs function and allow you to understand the difference. So equal to count ifs. As usual, press tab key to get the bracket open, press control A, then criteria would be CDFD. 
and range would be that column containing CDFD. F4, there you go. There are five people who work with division CDFD. So I would insist that you try the last question on your own and see if you can get the correct answer. Remember, if you wish to go back to the formula, you may choose the cell and click on FX and you'll be able to come back to the function argument box. So remember, while writing some ifs, the heights of the ranges should be same, there should be dollar, and if you're using any mathematical operator, this is how it is done. 